guys, it's Erin. Happily we go and it's PB and Journal Tuesday. So as you recall from last episode, we did our fun little flip out page and I want to incorporate that into today's page spread. So we're gonna use that tissue paper that we created last time. So we'll flip this page over and then we're gonna put the tissue paper onto the background. But first I wanted to add some fun scripty to it. So I have this cool stencil here and I'm going to flip it over. So that way I'm doing it uh, mirror image because when I flip the tissue paper over, it'll be the right way. So I have some stays on ink and I'm just gonna go ahead and push that ink through the stencil. And once you have it all done, there we go, look how cool that is. Now when you flip it over, you'll have it facing the right way. Go ahead and make sure that's really dry before we try to glue it on. Then we're gonna glue it down. So we're gonna grab some matte medium and just squirt it all over our pages. And you could use your finger, but today I'm actually going to use a brush. Can you believe it? I know, it's so crazy. And we're just going to brush it all over the page. It's okay if you have a lot. You kinda want a lot because of what we're going to do next. So once you've got it brushed out here, make sure you uh, wipe off that brush really good put your tissue paper on and make sure it's the right way and squish it all up. We're gonna create some wonderfully lovely texture here. By having stamped on the back side of the tissue paper, we don't have to worry about one, the ink running, so if you don't have stays on, you should, should still be okay. But two, um, we're gonna be able to still see all of our lovely layers that we made on our PB journal before. They're gonna show through that tissue paper. So all I did was cut off the bottom there and then added that extra piece onto the side. So both page spreads are covered with the tissue paper and then go ahead and dry it really good. And once you have it dry, grab some scissors and cut off the excess. You could leave it on if you wanted. It would give it a fun little grungy look, but I'm gonna cut it off today. So now I have just some uh, gesso, some plain gesso and a super duper wet brush, and we're going to whitewash our page. And once you have enough white all over, grab a paper towel and just sort of sop up some of that paint and then dry it really good. All right, so now that we have that done, I want to incorporate our flat page into the double page spread. So what I'm gonna do is draw a border that matches the flap around the other two pages. And now that I've done that, we're gonna grab some paints, and I love this color, it's Absinthe Green from Charvin. It's an acrylic paint and it's just beautiful. It doesn't necessarily match the flowers, but what we're going to do is through some acrylic paints and through a bunch of Lindy's, we are going to try and recreate uh, what we did with the flap onto the page borders. And it may not be exactly the same, but we're just going for a similar effect. And a good way to incorporate that color is to make a watery wash and go ahead and add some splats onto the page. These may not show up in the end, but all of these layers that we're building are going to give our page spread some depth and bring it all together. Now that I've used my acrylics, I'm gonna grab some of the Lindy's to give us some of that shimmer like we have on the flip out page. And I'm just going to take this, or you can use a brush, I'm gonna switch here and use a brush to brush it along the borders. I'm gonna use a bunch of different colors here, um, the same colors that I used on the flip out page, and I'm just gonna keep continuing to layer the Lindy's around the page until I get the desired look.
got all of our layers built up, we can see it's not a perfect match, but it gives us the same effect and it's going to pull it together. Now what to do on the inside? What to do? Well, I could just leave it as is. I want to push the page a little further. So I'm going to grab my Derwent XL charcoal block in white and I'm going to pull those texture veins of the pages out a little bit more and make them pop. I'm thinking I'd like to bring a bit more of the color in some of those blues to kind of pull that flat page in. So I'm going to use the Jack Richardson Soft Pastels and just kind of add some of the blues and smudge them across the page. I want it to soften the harsh line of the border, so using a green pastel that slightly matches, I'm just going to go around the border and smudge a little bit with my fingers. smudging I'm planning what I want to do next and I thought let's add some background detail so using another color and again I will put everything that I use down in the description box below but another Charvin acrylic color I'm going to uh, put that through a stencil and guess what it barely showed at all that's okay though because it's still adding detail so now I'm just throwing a bit of loose charcoal I know so crazy through a stencil it doesn't give you a perfect impression but oh my gosh isn't that just beautiful wiping a little bit away so that way I don't have too much excess. I'm just dropping on some clear gesso here and kind of rubbing it on the page. This will help set the charcoal for the next layers that we add. And of course, once I brought up that charcoal, you knew it was coming. I just thought I have to have a face on this page. So I'm going to start with an eye. We're gonna keep it super loose. I'm not going off of a photo reference, but I will throw on some music and let's bring this face to life. You could like Lying only buys you so much time You could hurt But hurting's never gonna make it fine You could shake And try and shake it off all you can You might fake It's never gonna
inside I was lost But if it's worth the win, it's always worth the fight It's always worth the fight, yeah I don't care what you do But here's a tip for me to do Look your fears in the eye Only way to say goodbye Once you lift them from your heart You could have a brand new start It's true It's true I don't care what you do But here's a tip for me to you Look your fears in the eye Only way to say goodbye Once you lift really let the page speak for itself and I loved um, once the girl came together having that dark side with all the dark veins and then pulling her forward almost like she was becoming dust you know going into dust and the whole time I kept thinking let go like just let this page come to be and let go so that's what I wanted my sentiment to be so I'm taking a scrap piece of paper here and measuring out the size that I want my sentiment to be I hand lettered on to give me a guide and then I'm going to take a used piece of uh, acetate from just a package that I got and I'm going to trace over that sentiment and cut it out. Once I cut it out I decided I wanted to kind of be um, to cut around the let go and then we're going to take some double-sided tape here I have some sequin double-sided tape and I'm gonna put it right in the middle there and then line up where I want my sentiment to go and I love the acetate because it lets you see through so we're going to be able to glue it on there push it down and then our sentiment's gonna be able to move. So that way it's there, boop, but then it's not there, and we can write whatever we want on the inside of the page. I wanted to bring in some of the darker veins there as well to the let go um, to kind of pull together that stark black, just sort of bring it into the page more. And, you know, I, I wasn't sure if I was digging it or not, but I thought I'm just going to go with it because it feels right. And when you go with what feels right, you can never go wrong, right? I'm going to pick up my willow charcoal and just go over top of those uh, veins again. Wherever it's raised, it's going to really grab that dark color, and I just love that look. It's, it's really gorgeous. Um, now I'm measuring out where that page flap goes to, and I'm going to go ahead and write my sentiment. I'm writing it in pen, in my own handwriting, and then I'm going to go over it in Sharpie. I'm not going to make it fancy. I just want it to be me, raw, because that's how I feel that this page is. It's just emotional and reminders for me. And I'm going to write out the sentiment, oh, I can't help myself, the moment I let go is when I find I'm in control, which as letting go is the page theme, I thought that seemed very fitting for the inside of my journal page. So there we go, guys. Here is the finished page. Look at all that gorgeous texture. I think it turned out really great. I hope you'll grab some charcoal, some texture, and play in your paper bag journal. Thank you so much for going on this uh, emotional ride with me today, and I hope that you're able to let go, gain control, and get into your crafting space. Until next time, happy creating.